Welcome everybody to the 21st annual Derby City Classic for 2019. This is the one pocket. We got Shannon Dalton and Rahid Shabib. Let's fix that. Alright, here we go. Uh, this could be a quick game with Shannon on the table. Could be a quick one. Let's see what happens. Shabib, let a ball slide out. What's up, Kevin? Put on some headphones, man. That'll be one for Shannon. Let's see, now they're shooting out of their pocket. Hey, hey. Yep, I hear you. Good morning, everyone. How's it going? It's been an interesting morning already. What do we got going on here? Shannon Dalton and Rahid Shabib. Shannon made one. One pocket for the day. Nine ball starts tomorrow. That's my game. I know nothing about one pocket, so forgive me. <laughs> <laughs> uh, I know the rules of the game. That's about it. Everybody plays so different. That's what I like about one pocket. All right, which pocket? Who has which pocket here? Shannon is shooting to the left pocket. That's I why I switched the names. You try to put the names by the pockets. It makes it a little easier to keep track. Yeah, I, I do that too. Did you get a good night's sleep? Yep, that's, why, that's why I'm coming in so late. I heard you guys <laughs> were up till like 4 in the morning. Again. <laughs> Can't it's be derby, doing man. It's, it's tough to go to bed. It is. So much uh, good action going on all all times. Uh, he's got to be careful here. Looks like he's going to try to draw all the way back down. No, nope, stop. Better go in. Nope. Uh, Shannon can make you pay for that. Well, he looked first to see if he was going to be selling out anything if he yeah, missed. Yeah, but and does I don't the 8-3 go? I don't think the 8 goes. I don't think the 3 goes. He'd have to play a 8-3 eight eight combination. 8 3, yeah. Yeah, but then he can also just, if he <coughs> shoots that, I think he can just freeze that cue ball right there. Then he leaves Rahib nothing. You just better hope you don't make the three. <laughs> Put it in front of the pocket. Uh, he's just going to move the stuff. Just going to clear, clear uh, yeah, Rahib's uh, pocket. <laughs> I need to drink some more of this coffee. Yeah, yeah. I think Sherry just went to Starbucks. Look at that. That's a nice shot. It is. Kept the cue ball up so the 11 is blocking the 7 and the 4. Uh, Mr. Mike D got his match this morning. That was pretty smart. Unfortunate, though, that it laid it up like that. Yeah, it laid up a dead combination now. Can you shoot the seven and pull it back and not hit the stack? I don't think he can avoid hitting the stack. You know, do this, bank this. Yep. And just pull the cue ball back this way. If he can, that would be nice. Doesn't look like he can though, so he's gonna nick the seven up into the pile there. No? Well, that surprises me. I thought he'd try to nick the seven going by and put the cube on the back side of that stack so he wouldn't foul. Yeah. If you take the you take the intentional foul if you can lock up your opponent, but he uh, unfortunately has failed to do that. Yeah, he went too high. They're gonna Shoot the five off the three. Shoot the three across, the five back up table. That's what it looked like he was aiming at. So 
That also makes Shannon at zero. Uh, he's looking for something to see if it's see if it's all wired up, but I don't think it is. It could, it might be. You know, he could always uh, soft kick up behind the three, and then that that'll undeaden that combination. That way, everything's all tied up. Right. That doesn't really get you much, though. You'd rather move something to your side if possible. Looking to see if that combination's dead. Looking at kicking at it. Yeah, that is so that's risky. kind of uh, <laughs> that's kind of wild. Especially if you're playing chain and Dawn. Yeah, if that ball doesn't go, you're uh, you're dead meat. Huh. Yep. That's what he keeps looking at. Hmm. Pretty brave. No, I have no idea what he's looking at. I think he's looking at shooting a six off the two, but that's no good because it moves balls towards Shannon's pocket. Right. Yeah. Just got to get those balls away from Shannon's pocket because that's lined up dead to his pocket. So that yeah, really I, I'm just not move opposed to taking the five off of the edge of the three. Uh, if he hits it good, and just floats the cue ball down a little bit. Like he's just got to avoid the double hit on the five and the cue ball. Yeah, I'm not sure I like what he's looking at there. So you guys let Sophia sleep in this morning. She's all worried that she overslept. I'm like, I don't care. The cameras froze up on the first match this morning. Oh, really? So <laughs> I couldn't get out there to, to do anything until the match was over. So it didn't really matter. I'm going to play the six off the two. Better go. Right, that's yeah. good shot, but now what? Just shoot the 14 and slide the cue ball straight down. Yeah. Shoot into the 14, bring the cue ball down here. Oh. Uh, he's looking the other direction. You got two rail into the three, or I can't. Is he gonna thin the nine and just yeah, just try to. Well, he may have gave Shannon a free swing here. Does the 11 go go by the 9 and up table and back down on that side or not? Yeah, that's what I think he's going to do. And he's got a combo if he can hit it with speed. He could if, do some if, good damage if here. The, if the cannon can hit it with some speed. Well, it still it didn't land too bad. No, he's still got a yet. nice little combo. The ten to go by, the, the fours on the bottom end. He, he's going to creep, creep and up and put Shabib in a really bad situation here if he doesn't start moving balls towards his pocket. Yeah, and that's a good cue ball too. But the only thing is, you know, coming off the 14 like you suggested last shot, that might still be available. Yeah. A lot of these guys don't play uh, much mm -hmm. one pocket other than a derby. It can be a huge disadvantage when you're playing a guy like Shane, a uh, one yeah. pocket legend, because he's going to outmove you. So just enjoy the ride. Yeah, <laughs> <laughs> pretty much, yeah. Just enjoy playing a, a great player. Maybe even get a game. This is how I would be looking at it if I was at the table because I'm not a one pocket player. That's yeah. way too complicated a game for my simple little nine ball uh, mind. <laughs> but on a shooter is not going to play a, a one pocket player. You got to you got to have the mental game. Yeah. 
You gotta be a little concerned when Shannon starts, you know, talking with his eyebrows there. Did you catch that? <laughs> no, I was looking, at, I was looking at the balls. He's seeing something a little special. <laughs> so, oh, what's this? Oh, what's this? <laughs> <laughs> well, is he going to try right, to combo this? Three rail the 10 ball back at his corner while drawing the cue ball into that 11 3 combo. Yeah, that's kind of, well. Oh, he hit it. He just didn't hit it good enough. Oh, does that 8 go? Well, probably not now. Spotting the ball. Probably did before the spot. Is that above the spot? Might have got lucky there. Yeah. He got real lucky there. <laughs> Is that 15 2 go? Nope. I don't think so. No. I think you just got to get that, old, that 311 out of there. I like just kicking under it here. Hit it with a stop shot, hit it with a little bit of speed. So you kick the 11 up, at least up to the second diamond area. Yeah, as long as you can hit that three Solid, full, yeah, yeah, hit it full hit and full. stick to cue ball, you can hit it with some speed and clear those balls out of there. A little harder than that, I was thinking. Yeah, a little harder. That's what I mean about playing with a one pocket uh -huh. player. He'll just sneak, he'll just keep sneaking up on you and next thing you know you're in a trap. Yeah, he doesn't play well with others. No, the friendly part of the game is gone. <laughs> When they shook hands to start the match, that was <laughs> that was the end of the friendly part. <laughs> Record numbers: five oh three in the bank pool, four ten in the one pocket. That's a lot of freaking players. Wow. Four hundred and ten one pocket players. Yeah. People keep saying pools nine, but the numbers are creeping up here. Team USA wins the Moscone Cup. I think it's because of uh, Railbirds and uh, Bad Boys TV of all the uh, great pool coverage yeah, we do. Yeah, sounds I think good to me. I think we're the reason why. Yeah. CSI and Predator team up. They're going to do the World 10 ball. Right on. Yeah. Las Vegas in July at the Rio. $100,000 added. Woohoo. That's strong. Uh-oh. Uh, Ooh, can he see that two or four uh, or whatever that ball is? I don't know, yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah it could be not. trouble. Yeah, he would have been running out already if he could. Yeah, he moved away from that real quick. He's just going to play. There you go. See, and I, I was surprised he didn't do that earlier. Look at that ball speed. When he, when he took, the, took the foul earlier, I, I thought he was going to nick the seven going by. Watch out, Raheeb. You're going to fall in the trap here pretty quick. Shannon's got two clear in his pocket. He's going to fall in. I think he's already in. Yeah, I don't see him getting in any better shape either. Even if you two rail to the 11 and try to hit it on the bottom end. What the hell is that noise? Yeah, I don't know.
Oh, construction guys, I think, over here. They're doing construction on the other side of this wall. Hopefully they don't get too loud. I hear last week they were jackhammering when they were setting up the tables, and the balls would vibrate on the tables. Wow. Good God, I hope they don't try that this week. That would not go over well at all. Oh, what about, you know, like you're saying, like two rail, you know, kick two rails, you know, under the 11. Yeah, two rails under and just hit the bottom side of the yeah, 11. Yeah, this way, up yeah. in here somewhere, try to hit the 11 or not. Yeah, now see, he just sold out big time. Oh, that's trouble. And he didn't leave a ball in front of his pocket at all. Yeah, so now I think Shannon's probably going to try to shoot the 11, go to the bottom rail. Right side and then up, oh. so we could shoot the six next or the seven next. Or what about trying to uh, how about trying to break open the stack right from the eleven? Leaving he might do that to too. Leave the four ball as your next shot. Yeah, he might do that too. Just depends on what he saw. Yeah. Now we'll see if he can draw back for for the seven. Kind of surprised he didn't shoot that with more speed and try to get up on that side. Maybe nothing goes. Uh, he's looking at it. The seven goes and he can bump the one. Make the seven bump the one. The cue ball roll into the ten. Then the three is right there and everything else is want to be. Yep, just like that. But he didn't make it. Must not have went straight in. Because he hit it so soft, I think he was just trying to put it in front of his pocket. I don't think he was actually right. trying to make it. Yeah. Oh, Rahib, you're in trouble. Yeah, just kick the seven in. Or you shoot the three and try to catch the edge. And try to make the three back in your pocket. Yeah, try to get the three to go over in front of your pocket. But if you leave Shane in the bank, you're going to be in trouble. Yeah, he's going to try the trick shot. You can try it. If you don't do it right, you sell out. Yeehaw. Yeah. He's aiming for it. Let's see what happens. He's trying to make something happen. Mind. I think he was thinking maybe that 12 is in his way from kicking straight up to 7. Yeah, maybe. I don't. It doesn't look like it from here, but. Oh, he didn't hit the 7 at all. That's going to hurt. Wow. Oh, well, maybe not too bad. I mean, get to 7 and come around for the. Is that Four the 14? Yeah, 14 up top. And then after that, he doesn't really have much. Unless he can Unless that five get goes. a little bump out here. Might be able to hit this thin enough to run right into the 12 and get a little spread there. No, he's going to spin on out and about. Uh-oh, not high How's enough. Whoa. <laughs> well, the speed was pretty good. <laughs> yeah, that was not too bad. The line was a little suspect, but the speed was good. So do you try to come and break him out? Go to the side rail and back through the middle? I think he's it's just going nice to uh, he's just take his one ball and then play a good save. It's almost natural. Dead center hit on the cue ball and come on around. Well, he hit that a lot harder than I think he, he wanted to. Spreading things out, keeping uh, Shabib off his ball. Keeping That's a smart the, thing to do. Keeping Move. the heat on. 
Move your ball that direction. Yeah, don't be looking at three railing that ball. Sucks to kick at anything in one pocket. Hmm. If he doesn't hit this good, he leaves an easy bank. Yeah. Or miss it. You owe a ball, and you leave it so Shannon can knock some more stuff his direction. That's uh. That's gonna be a painful mistake there. Shannon should be able to turn this game into a nightmare right here. He doesn't have to make nothing, but he should be able to spread stuff out. And they're really, they're going to be banging on stuff. That's, that's unreal. Turned her back. Julian walked up on me. I had to see what was up. Yeah, see, he's in trouble now. I like thin in the nine, just putting the cue ball on the bottom rail here. Hit it super thin. Oof, I don't like that. I think he's just looking at just soft drawing back into the that eight, whatever that other ball is, eight twelve. 810. So risky. Or is he looking at banking it at his pocket? That's what it looks like. It looks like he's going to try to slide it around, spin down and around, and that's. That was foolish. Look at this. He's going to. Oh, he got lucky that he jacked him up, but it's still an easy make on that five. And he's going to give him a break out on the 112 right here. Wow. Watch this, he'll hit the six. Yep. Uh oh, uh oh, oh. Wow, oh. <laughs> oh, he's uh he's, he's lucky he's only gonna get one ball here. Yeah, bank the nine. The nine can go. He 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 is a good banker, so that nine could go, or at least uh, it's gonna end up in the jaws. Yeah, and he can roll he could roll far enough forward to really leave. Leave, leave uh, Shabib really to Oh, he oh, plays that soft. I'm surprised. He's playing the patience game. Just yeah. gonna let uh, let Raid uh, come to him. Hmm. That surprised me. Shannon doesn't usually play that cautious, but he's got a five ball count to nothing, so. He can afford to doodle a little bit. Well, we got the Banks semifinals and finals tonight. Another great match to start that off. Skyler and Thorpe. Is that one going to be on the, the AccuStats uh, stream? Yeah. Yeah, yeah they, they're not going to let that one slide by. <laughs> <laughs> it would be nice, but then, yeah, they're not going to let that go by. Bugger. Yeah. Oh. Yeah. That doesn't work. Shane is just going to bank the three back across. Just like that. Yeah. 
Yeah, and he only needs two in the ones right there, so he's just going to go up here and then he'll, he'll uh, shoot the two ball. That should give it to him. Yep. There we go. That's game one to Shannon. Can't remember who broke, I think. Uh, I think Shannon broke. Uh, maybe. Can't remember. That was a little while ago. Yeah, Shannon Draken. So it must have been uh, Raid broke that. Well, you're in trouble. Shannon broke serve first game, and now it's his break. You pretty much bet. The breaker has... Most people will tell you the breaker has a two-ball advantage. Right. That's a big advantage. Break, so... When it's Shannon Dalton, you can, you can just about tell it's a... Oh, that rack sure does look uh, twisted. <laughs> it does, doesn't it? A little bit. <laughs> Could be just a camera, too. Yeah. I had to get up there and turn it off and turn it on, so I bumped it a little bit. But That's a good break. If it was twisted to his favor, a ball would have went right towards the pocket. And we are playing with the rule. If you do make a ball on the break, that's a re-rack, so yep. it doesn't really benefit you much. Yeah. yeah, they wanted to make a rule to speed up one pocket, and then they took that rule. <laughs> the Grady Matthews rule? <laughs> yeah. Yeah, <laughs> that lasted, what, 12 hours before yeah, the before 12 the hours, <laughs> and then they, but they put in the rule that if you made a ball on the break, you had to re-rack. So it's like, okay, you put in a rule to slow it down. And yeah, let's <laughs> slow it down more. <laughs> this, this, these are going way too fast, so yeah. what can we do to slow it down? Uh oh, that's a nice on. shot. That was a great shot. Nice shot there, Reed. That was a great shot, especially if he corner hooked him there. Which it looks like he might be. Yeah. Yeah, he's corner hooked, or Shana would have been shooting a three. It's kind of fun to watch these guys that are one pocket specialists, because even when they're in a tough situation. They've seen it so many times, it doesn't take them that long to decide what to do. Kind of like that shot right there? Yeah. <laughs> yeah, the rest of us would have mm -hmm. been like, oh, what do I do here? Yeah, you'd have had to look at about 10 different options before you decided on probably the wrong one. Yeah, if it was me, I'd still be out there thinking about <laughs> it. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, try to bank it over here and hit the eight. Yep. All right, now he's right back in the trap. He yeah. was starting to work his way out, but now he's back in. Instantly, he's got a three-ball favorite spot here. <laughs> One mistake. Could be a five-ball run here. Yeah, these are sitting really good for Shannon. Yeah. Four balls accessible, and you're expecting to bump at least one out of the pack. This is where you gotta you gotta play a lot of one pocket to figure out how to deal with that particular situation right here, where the guy's got a ball right in the jaws of the pocket, and you have no way to get there. You gotta figure out what's the best way to do it. Oh. Yeah. He's just going to shoot the three ball combo here. 12 7, 11. Well, yeah, he didn't get the 11 enough, but same difference. That's another problem with one pocket is if you don't know how to get to the balls, <laughs> you'll start piling more and more balls to your pocket, and then all of a sudden, then even if they yeah. give you something, uh -huh. you don't have a shot. Exactly. <laughs> it's, it's possible to have too many balls in front of your pocket. Yeah. And then yeah. nothing goes. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> Let's see. Yeah, been there, done that. <laughs> Oh, 
Okay. I thought, I thought he, he was, was shooting the four. The four. Yeah. <laughs> That's a nice shot. Nice that shot there, Reed. Shot. Yeah, I thought he was banking the four. I was like, what the heck? He's probably just going to bank this 12, leave him hooked again. Yeah, he wanted to get the cue ball over against the two or the five. He did not want Rahib to be able to shoot the ten ball here. I like popping the ten ball straight across and have it come back into the tw whatever this is with 14. the two. Oh, there. And just bring the cue ball. A nice little pop shot, which is like a Shane shot, but yeah. You pop this down and the cue ball go here. And this ball go across and back over and kind of break these apart like that. Then you put three balls makeable in front of your pocket. And if you, you hit it good, you keep uh Ooh. Wow, that was a little careless there. You keep I like, shaving I like off. Your shot. I liked your shot. It was easy to control the cue ball, you know, get it below the 11. And the way those were sitting, the two wouldn't have come down. We'll but force him to play this combination. Nice shot. Oh, uh -huh. boy. Sabib has got to be happy that Shannon didn't get around those two or it would have been over. He does have a shot on this 14. He does. But if he'd have got around, it would have definitely been easy All out. Right, he's, he's back in line now. He's got to work a little harder this direction, but if he can get if he can get over to the other side there. Whoa! Yep, there you go. Should be trouble now. Five. Just slide over a little bit. He should be able to get out. Oh, he went farther than I thought he would. And oh. sold out a ball. All right, wow. all right, Raid. I'm surprised he went into those. I thought he was just going to try to pull over so he could cut the 11 over next. Good opportunity here to run some balls. You, you have to. He should be able to get one, two, three, four. If he gets it right, he should be able to, he could get out here. It's It's conceivable guy that shoots as straight as he does. Just got to get the position you need. Hello. Hello, Kevin Ross. How are you? I'm doing good. How are you doing, uh, Michael Deitchman? I'm doing good. I'm doing good. You got it. Okay, so Shannon Dalton, um, R. Shabib. Raid Shabib. Uh, what is it? Raid. Raid. Raid Shabib. All right. Because I know you know the names. I wouldn't have asked anybody else that. Yeah. We know, uh, we know Raid. He's been on the uh, Railbirds uh, stream uh, before. Okay. And. Shannon made a uncharacteristic uh, mistake and uh, sold out a nice open layout for Raid here. Is that how that seven ended up in the jaws? Was Shannon missed? Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. All right, what's the ball count? We got one, two, three, four, six, seven, eight, nine. So it looks like Raid has two balls. Nice. And Shannon's got one game in the set. Is that right? Yep. Okay. One nothing race to three. Nice. Well, he's doing good with this. Uh. Yeah, he's got a chance to run some balls, maybe even run them out. Get there, get there, get there. It yeah, didn't get there. That's, that, that was, yeah, that's too bad. All right, you go for this bank, or do you try to just kick the seven in? Uh, I, you know, I, th he's going to have to kick the seven in, I think. We'll see. Yeah, 
He wants to shoot. He's a he's a shooter. He yeah, wants to he shoot. does. And there's no balls by Shannon other than one in the jaws. Yeah, but he can it's get position on, on yeah, either of those two yeah. balls. He obviously he's feeling good about the bank. I guess the my the thing for me is the banking the seven in with the cue ball. That's such a makeable shot. You know, sometimes mm -hmm. you look at that and you got to go up and down table. It looks really difficult. This is a, a pretty easy one. Um, but he definitely, I'm saying he's going to take the bank. I think he's going to. He's thinking if he makes the bank, he can win the game. Yeah, yeah, exactly. And he'll have a good chance to mm -hmm. if he makes this. That's looking. Uh, oof. Yeah. If, when he hit it, I thought it looked pretty good, but right. just widened out a little. Yeah, yeah. That was a tough shot. <coughs> All right. It's going to bring Shannon the Cannon Dalton back to the table. I would think he's going to try and get on the outside of the two ball. Uh, oh, he's banking it into it. That's how you know you're a good banker. Oh, oh. you talked him right out of it. <laughs> well, look, at he's safe. No, he was just playing safe. Right. Just, <laughs> just toying he's with him. He's a creative safety plan guy. Just toying with him. Well, doing it that way, had he made the, that bank combo, he, he would have been pretty much guaranteed three balls. Mm -hmm. So in, in his world, he did the right thing no matter what. It just didn't work out. Now, see, see, now here's a time where what I'm saying, you know, you can't can't really kick that seven in. You better fly at something. So you play his combination bank? What's I he looking at? Or I think he has to, or bank that nine ball backwards. But, yeah, I think he's got to take the combo bank. He's in a mess now. The only positive about those two balls sitting there is they don't go to Shannon's pocket right, right now. So if he touches them, they might. So I'm sure he's factoring that. Yeah, he's just weighing his options. What are we doing? What do we what do we decide on? He he Is seems to like a? the mass A into the seven. That's what he keeps going back to. That uh, worked out really nice. That was that's a really scratchable shot, uh, and there's not much you can do other than cross your fingers it doesn't scratch. Or you could so just clip the seven and the cue ball goes up table no, and you yeah, leave no. a shot. Yep, no, that's a good point. Uh, that was nicely done. Good control. Bank to nine? Yeah, I think so. Uh, and cue ball across for I that I think the uh, question is 15. what to do with the cue ball. You know, the nice thing about that one for Shabab is uh, uh, it's, it's a pretty scratchable. If you leave him any kind of angle on that one ball, he's going to scratch. So you could bank that and send the cue ball kind of up table as long as it didn't sit on the rail. It would be kind of safe. Yeah, cue ball comes out this way, so you have a shot on the that 15 next. Yep, yep, yep. So we'll see what he likes. Although you are likely to actually sell out a shot on those. That, that, that cue ball is probably going to end up all the way over to that rail, that left rail. Yes, I, yeah, I think he's going to have to hit hard enough to hit the rail and come out of the rail. I think he'll, the cue ball, in my mind, would go two rails. Yeah, he doesn't want to sell out the one, it looks like, yeah. so he's going to yeah. do something else. Okay. Oh, well, that actually helped Shannon more than Raid. Yeah. Shannon's probably just going to get this nine over to his half of the table. Yeah, I just think balls are going up table. Okay, yeah. Creating a group. Might be time to have that two ball join the group. Yeah, bank the two back over to his side, bring the cue ball down to this bottom rail. Yeah. So 
So you're gonna have to keep me honest on my silly uh, shot selections because you know I'm a I'm a nine ball player. <laughs> this one pocket's way too much for my little brain, my little nine ball brain. Well, I'll tell you what. Uh, here at Derby City Classic, Kevin, uh, I'm at a deficit myself. <laughs> I'm they, there are some very very good one pocket players here, and I do okay. But uh, yeah, I've been wrong more times than I can count, both in my matches and in my commentated. All right. I think he's going to one-rail that four ball just below the side pocket. Technically, I think <coughs> rules of pool-wise, it's supposed to fit. When there's a ball on the spot, you're supposed to be able to bank it. But that four is a little high. We'll see. If the four was where the nine is, it would go. Yeah, I guess speaking of that, he could, he could do it with the nine. Yep, that angle right there. And where's this cue ball going? I th well, I think it's going to marry itself to, is that the 12 over there? We'll see. Oh, no, never mind. I was picturing bottom right. For me to, for, to like this shot, I like bottom right because it throws that cue ball, the nine ball, the way I want it to go. Looks like he feels differently, though. We'll see. <coughs> oh. Nice. He got a little hook out of that. All right. Well, Shannon likes it. Oh, nice shot there. Didn't saw out much of a shot had he missed, and he's pretty good on the nine. Nice shot. Shout out to Matt McKinnis, who just came by. <coughs> so Shannon's at six now. Yeah, Ray made, just made a nice bank. Okay. Get himself uh, back in this game. Yeah, he's got a shot at this nine now. Oh, that might be a little short. Uh, oh. Yeah. Now we'll see. Does he bank this to make it in his pocket <coughs> or just get it to the bottom of the center of the sm short rail? I don't think he's trying to make it. I think he's just not knocking the nine out of there. Yeah, that's what that's what I think too, but we'll see. Oh, no. That went pretty far. Yeah. Well, good for him, but, you know, the reason he, he went, he let it go that far is he know he could keep it down. You know, you don't want to leave a cross bank on that shot. It's good good cue ball speed because that cue yeah. ball was going right at that corner <laughs> pocket. Yeah. Now, I don't know if he will go bottom rail first with right-hand English to clip that nine. Looks like he's doing that. Yeah. Good shot. He's kind of obligated to take care of that nine ball right now because the nine ball limits him, but Shannon feels differently. Oh, look at that. Yeah, well, that's why he feels differently, Kevin. Yeah, well, and, <laughs> Just and for the record. any uh, controlled the cue ball, he didn't sell anything out had he missed. He got real safe, didn't he? Yeah, exactly. Nice, he left him tripled up. Uh -huh. This one rails to his pocket. The 12 ball. Mm -hmm. I'm not saying it's a great shot, but it, it goes. We'll see what he does. He may want to play more conservatively. Shannon only needs one ball. Looks 
So he's just going to tie those three balls up, bring the cue ball down table. Yeah. At least that's what he's trying to do. Yeah. Cue ball's nice and low to the rail. That's good. All right. I don't think he left anything. Mm. Yeah. Time to be careful. Slide off that nine ball and send the cue ball up table. Oh no, look at that. He's, he's at least looking at a one rail. Nine ball up to his pocket. We'll, we'll see. And he changes his mind. Yeah, yeah. Huh. <laughs> All right, Kevin, what's he doing? He's uh, shooting at this, whatever that ball is. That's what he's doing. It's a 12. Okay. And just going to leave it on the rail. Just uh, getting it down by his pocket. Yep, yep, yep. Putting a little heat on. Yeah. Now he can, you know, it depends on what you like. He can two rail this to his hole extra hard. So if it misses the hole, it bounces back up table. But with Shannon Dalton only needing one ball, I'm not sure if that's a good no, shot. No, that seems like world. kind of a flyer. Yeah. And yeah, he's just gonna move it to yeah, his side. Yeah, yeah, because those nine, ten don't bank right now. Might as well take advantage of that. <laughs> nice. Shannon just gonna play the patience game. Yep. Wait for Raid to Boy. make a mistake. Yeah. Boy, everything is all tripled up right now too. Makes it tough. Interesting. Yeah, because you know you got the cue ball's got to go forward. Probably bump that uh, whatever that stripe is on the top rail. You're so likely to sell something out. Wow. Gutsy shot. He may be feeling that clock tip ticking though, where you know Shannon Dalton's going to make that last ball pretty soon. They feel like he has to make something happen before that happens. Boy, nice speed. <coughs> I just played on that table, and it rolls. It's a fast it table. It really rolls. Yeah, it really rolls. It goes very fast. You don't have to hit it very hard at all. Yeah, I'm noticing they're getting a lot of... Uh a lot of distance out of these balls yeah. without much effort. Yep. And can't, again, just kick and stick like you did before. Yeah, right? Yeah, right hand English. Yeah, he would have liked to have stuck that cue ball a little more. But he's all right. Now, I think there's two rails, but I'm not sure if he can get the cue ball out of the way. Yeah, it looks, we'll like, uh, looks like double kiss to me. But yep. He could two rail it if he had a magic cue ball. But I'm no expert. Oh, it wasn't even close to oh double kiss. No. It was like well, three feet away. Yeah, but he <laughs> got the wrong angle too, I think. Uh, yeah. But he left a shot. Not a not a great shot. No, that's <laughs> not a shot anybody's going to love. You're jacked up on the 12, and it's kind of scratchy. And if you miss it, you're going to leave him a one rail back to his hole. And his name's Shannon Dalton. So if you leave him a one rail back to his hole, he's probably going to make it. And he only needs one ball. That being said, I'm probably going to slice it this nine in my pocket. It would be hard to not go at your pocket, wouldn't it? Yeah, I'm shooting. Yeah. Unfortunately, that's going to leave a bank. Yeah, that's going to hurt. Hmm. Boy, from that distance, that's going to be hard to do much with. And I don't know if it was close, if you had a much easier time. Yeah, but from that distance, uh, it just you can't, can't follow it in because you got the, the 12, 12 up there. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. Checkmate. 
He's going to try to take it out. Yeah, he's probably just hoping for the best, you know. Oh, all right, well. He's saying, I dare you to make this 12 ball with ball in hand. Yeah, he's, yeah, he's <laughs> like, whatever. Just prove it. Yep. Prove that you can make the 12 ball with ball yeah, in hand. I, yeah, I haven't seen you shoot a ball in your hole in like right, 20 minutes. Right, exactly. <laughs> yeah, no, to be fair, I mean, you know, would you rattle this and it's a whole new game? The center of the hole. All right. Yeah. <laughs> so two for Shannon. Nice. And it's going to be Raid's break. Nice. Uh, I got to use the diamond rack for the first time. The these uh, composite plastic ones. Oh, they're uh, they're, they're new. Uh, the they're new di uh, plastic racks. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Because there's some flex, it actually, I I can see where maybe it is getting a little tighter. So to replace their old plastic racks, which were really cheap and flimsy. Yeah. Now I love their wooden racks. I'm, I of course. You know, I like their wooden racks. I wish they were all wooden, but I have a feeling they walk away. <laughs> I think they're taking a break. I'm going to rest my ears for a second. All right, players are taking a break, and so are we. We'll be back. We're back. All right. Looks like we have at least one player back. Well, it takes two, baby. Yeah. 
Yeah, I don't know. Yeah, false alarm. Yeah. <laughs> I think only one of them's back. Yeah. Oh, we're going to need Shannon. You're so smart with those mute buttons, Kevin. <laughs> <laughs> we have the technology. I'm easily impressed, man. That's pretty strong. All right. Raid with the break. Oh, that's unfortunate. That is unfortunate. Shannon Dalton's up two games in this race to three. No. And this was his, his one shot Bank to have an advantage. Towards his pocket, keep all in the stack. Yeah. A little harder, but that was a good shot. Oh, look at it's it roll. See, I told you that yeah, they this table rolls, going. man, right? Yeah, you're expecting it to stop like a uh, foot sooner, and yep. it just keeps going. Uh, yeah, I just, you know, you leave a cross rank. And I'm sure, yeah, there we go. All right. There's a big stack to put him in there. That's for sure. I don't know if he'll do it. All right, looks like we're about to go negative one here. Uh-oh. Okay. The scoreboard doesn't let us go negative one. All right. 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 Yes. Uh, 
Uh, um, uh, Sophia's been putting double zeros, and I've been putting zero one. Zero zero to indicate that he owes one. It's a good shot. He pushed that, that stack to him a little bit. But they're definitely opening up the balls wide. They're opening up. Wide and to Shannon's side. Yeah, yes. Oh, that was a pretty good move. Now I think that 9-4 goes, Kevin. Wait, no, no, that's uh, that's not, that's that's Raid's side. That's right, because uh, Raid broke from the other side. Mm. So Shannon's side is down to the left, okay. So yes, does a four go? Uh, Hey, close, maybe, right? maybe if you can throw it a little. Well, looks like there's a little bit too much gap between them to throw them, so. Yeah. Yep. So if you just kick the 11 in. <laughs> or 13, whatever that is. Just kick that stripe in. Yeah, that was, uh, you could do that, I guess. Nice shot, Shannon. All right, now he's back to just a single zero. Uh, put the pennies up on the light. <laughs> no, <laughs> I've never seen. I've yeah, never seen anyone do that. I agree. I think that eight ball goes back to his hole. Not saying that's a shot necessarily, but I think it goes. I don't see much else. Banked at uh, whatever that stripe is near the spot, the thirteen, back towards the seven. Nestled that cue ball in between yeah. the nine one. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, what else we got? Um, oh, is that three ball bank, that upper right corner? Oh, okay. That was smart. That was a good creative shot. All right, he's got shot. some yeah. uh, stuff to his there. side. Cleared yeah. out Shannon's side yeah. a little. Good shot. I like it. Good stuff. Mikey D, seal of approval. Nice, got that over to his half of the table. Yeah, and he's hit him, hidden him from it. Just looking at banking this into the stack. Yeah, I was just going to say, up. yeah, 15 in the stack. Just got to be sure and keep that cue ball low so you don't mm -hmm. leave him a bank and hope that nothing gets banged down low yeah, you'd when like you to do it. Yeah, you'd like to, if you can shoot with some bottom lefts and draw right back into the behind the 10 would be nice. Yeah, it would be, yeah. Yeah, splashing in the rack is fun, but <laughs> sometimes it doesn't pay off. Sometimes it does. You gotta I was looking at just yeah. shooting straight into the 10 and move both balls. He can't make up his mind if he wants to shoot the 10 or the whatever that is <laughs> under the 10. Can't tell from these colors. That's a good shot. Uh, except that nine ball came back across. Oh, yeah, honestly, the nine ball banks in, and then he has some options here because he could also. And if he banks the nine, does he sell out anything if he misses? I don't know. See, I wonder if he's going to bank the one back and get the cue ball on the other side of the six to hide whatever happens by his pocket. He's looking at uh, if he banks the nine, what's he going to leave? He was just looking at it. Yeah. 
And for players of this caliber, this nine is practically a hanger. It's dead, yeah, yeah. Of course, now that I say that, I'll probably miss it by three diamonds. Ah, you're still right. No, that's it. Well, is it? Oh, he missed it by two diamonds. Yeah, he was. He had that. Uh, what is that? He had the five next. Yeah, he would have. It could have been a run out for him right there. He had to take that. He could have got some balls for sure. Yeah, he had to try for it. And I don't think he's left much. I don't think that. 13 no, I think you're goes. right. Yeah, I'm not sure he left anything, Kevin, honestly. Uh, the four, I guess. Yeah, he could slice the at the four. four. Cuts, yeah. If he was feeling uh, really brave. Right. Yeah, and you got to accept the fact that you're kind of letting the cue ball out when you do that. That cue ball is going to come back hard and Shoot fast. Shoot the five into the nine, move the nine across, making the I five like out of there. Move. I like that move because it's, it's, you know, it's a defensive offensive move. They bank to your pocket. And we'll see what he ends up doing. I think that's a shot I like. Five into the nine. Moving the nine across. He's going to slice it to four. Oh, boy. That was a cool. Oh, no. Oh, no. Oh, boy. Oh, that's too bad. Yeah. All right. That ball's going to spot, and he's going to oh one. Double zero. <laughs> that was unfortunate. I'll say, that's the cue ball. I thought that was the 15 that he just grabbed. <laughs> Kevin, I don't know what's happening. I think he accidentally grabbed the 15 thinking it was the cue ball. And... Oh, my gosh. They decided they're just going to spot the 15. I don't know what's going on. I I know nothing. I'm just an innocent bystander. <laughs> His opponent looks <laughs> like, looks nonplussed. His opponent's just like, I don't know what like just what happened. What, what just but happened? You're Shannon Dalton, so I don't know. So, so he just took a ball. Did out he of just discover the 15 ball? Do you think the 15 ball came to the came maybe where the cue ball the goes and somehow been went wrong or something? It might have been in the ball return, maybe. And they didn't maybe. notice it, and now they can't figure out who has it? The 15 might have been in the, like, where the cue ball return is, maybe? Is that a ball that got made when he owed a ball somehow and they forgot to spot it up now until now? See, this is when we need the, the people watching to explain to us what just happened. Yeah, explain it to us. Because I got no <laughs> idea. Mm, look at oh that is that might be in Kevin. That's got a chance. No, it's wow. Go wide. Boy, but he's hooked. That was a great shot. Yeah, even though he didn't make it, it puts heat on. Yeah, exactly. Gets a rail, protects his six ball. Well. All right. What's he looking at? Okay, putting the ball in the stack. Trying to limit Shannon's, all, do, Shannon's options. 
Yeah, okay, you got him tough. But kick Shannon's it, not kick the ten. Yeah, Shannon's not afraid to go rail first. He's gonna kick the ten. So he might even have a chance to go. Oh boy. Yeah. That's why. Is it gonna leave anything? That's why going off the rail first can be so dangerous. Yeah, I don't know if it left anything. Uh, it's hard to tell. And because of that six uh, twelve, you got to be careful with what you do. Ooh, that's a very brazen uh, shot. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, if there's nothing to lose, you take that 11-10 all day long. But for right now, I don't know. Let's see. I think he's. I think he feels like he can't outmove Shannon, so he's just going to try to outshoot him. Yeah, you might be right. He says, "All right, you know, trying to move with him is not working out for me. I'm just going to try to try to shoot. Yeah, I'm, yep, I'm going to yep, shoot. Yep. And I don't know. That one ball might be blocking the combination." I don't think he can shoot the six straight. I think he has to shoot the combination, and I think the one ball might be just I blocking enough. Saying. I see what you're saying. Yeah, it's hard to tell. I think yeah, does Shannon the 10. play with an extension? He's an old school guy, so I would wonder if he does have to stretch out to make that. Does he have an extension? No. No, he can see the combination. The one doesn't have him blocked. All right, that's trouble for uh, Raid. Yep. Oh, that was a good shot. Oh, boy. Ouch. All right, Raid. Man, how do you get a shot after this 10? <laughs> I, yeah, I don't. I really don't know. I don't, can you go forward two rails? I mean, I don't know. I'm afraid the scratch is too big, and that 15 it's and the four keep you from doing you your typical draw. bottom bottom right thing. You know, and yeah. you can't draw. You're going to run into them. You can't yeah. follow. I don't know. Maybe you can follow two rails. I don't know. Yeah, he's going to have to hit this just right. Just right. And I guess at the end of the day, he should really first and foremost make sure he pockets the ball. But boom, boom. Yeah. Especially on that one. You know, he didn't get shape anyway. Might as well have hit the ball. Oh, Shan's going to kick it out of there too, boy. That was a big opportunity that, that didn't go anywhere. Oh, he's not kicking him out. Oh. I think Shan wanted that ball down there so he could bank it in. I think you would have liked to have banked it up rail just a little bit farther to block that 113. Yeah. He's cutting it in. Wow. Is it nice gonna shot. Don't don't block it. Don't block it. Alright, good. Good shot. Yes. Alright, that brings him back to a, a single zero. It's two to one. Or no, two to zero. Yeah. Good shot. All right, he's got a chance to run some balls here. Yeah, if he can get above that one and that 13. Which shouldn't be a problem. Yep, no, I agree. Uh, he will have to maybe punch it a little bit, so he's got to at least be cognizant of the scratch on the side. Nice. That. I thought Good he would go after. I thought he was going to go after the one next. Yep, yep. Interesting choice.
he's looks like he's pretty straight and on the rail. Yeah. Yeah, I wonder if he'll try and leave himself the cut on the one ball if he makes this. I think you kind of have to. I think so too, yeah. Yeah, you leave yourself the one next and yeah. then, you know, draw back for the two or 15. No, I agree. Nice. That was a good shot. <laughs> My ball count doesn't add up. Let's see. I got uh, six balls on the table, six in the score. That adds up to 12 plus the one he owes, 13. I'm missing two somewhere. I'm going to go run over there just to check what the score is. I'll go do it. Okay. Now I'll go look. if Raid uh, gets back here, I mean, if Raid runs out before Mike gets back with the score, it won't matter. Good effort. And he owes one. Six to four. Shannon has four. All right. I figured. I figured it's probably the Shannon was the one I was missing. All right. Thank you for checking. Oh, of course. Anytime. All right. One rail. Afraid of the double kiss on that. It seems legitimate. Now he could hit it wide with top right, and take the cue ball back underneath the 12 ball, and mm -hmm. just get the 10 on his rail if he feels like it's too double kissy. Too double kissy. I like that. That's a real <laughs> thing. <laughs> <It's> a real <laughs> <laughs> All right. So Shannon's just going to pop that ball out of there. Go two rails to his side of the table. Oh, oh and move so the two he, also. I Bonus. Smart. Yeah, no, he took advantage of the situation, moved one of his balls away. Bonus points. Yeah, exactly. Fancy and schmancy. Yes. Speaking of that, he's back, back in this 10 ball. Oh, with the hook. Oh, no, he might have left him straight in. He did left him straight in on this oh, eight. Oh, no. Well, that happens sometimes when you join a group down at the bottom of the table. Probably follow down for a bank on the 10 next. Missed it. Oh, we did get it. Just okay. wiggled that right yeah. in there. Yep, exactly, Kevin. No, that's what he did, too. Oh, 
nice. Six six now. Shannon is on the comeback. Let's cut this stripe into those two solids. We can keep all down table. Yeah. We're gonna do something else. Let's move it onto his side of the oh, table. Yeah, get it to his side of the table. Wasn't sure if you wanted to keep everything tied up or open it up. No, it's hard to know strategy-wise what they're what they want to do sometimes. I know Shan wants to maintain his lead. He wants to open up this uh, this little cluster because they don't they don't do him any good like that. Yeah, they might as well not be on even on the table as far as he's concerned for all the good okay. they're doing him. No, nope, Shan got a shot out of that one. Short, oh, held it tight. Well, I got to think he's going to cross his two ball over at that side pocket. Or not the side, the corner. Yeah. Nice shot. All right, you didn't leave uh, a return bank. Nice. Good speed. Careful, you don't want to leave him a straight back bank on that uh, 10 ball or the 12 ball. Yeah, Raid knows it too. Yeah. Hmm, what's he have in mind? Get there. I better get there, cue the, ball. The two ball in the lane, I think, is what he was doing. Oof. But I don't I'm, I don't think it worked out. Is he two rail this or cutting it? Back and forth. Ah. Almost. Good shot. Top right to bang it out of there. Just gonna kick yeah. it out. Yep, drag it out of there. Oh, now I left Shannon the one railer. Oh. Yeah, he doesn't want to run into those balls. He doesn't want to sell out a straight in on for a right. And leave a straight in up table, exactly. But if he could gently get him back there, it'd be a hook. But it's chancy. Let's see what he tries. Oh, nice. And oh. He didn't leave a shot on the two, so that's yeah, good. Yeah. It almost did. <laughs> yep, so he's got to hit that out. the bottom rail with some right-hand English and pop that ball. Yeah, let's kick it out of there again. Yeah. Is he thinking about three rails? But I just can't imagine he's going to leave Shannon's ball there. I can't imagine he's going to do anything other than move right. that stripe out of there. Uh, he's... Up. 
he's really thinking about it, but he's yeah. okay. He's coming to yeah. his senses. Yeah. <laughs> well, and you got to go low, you know, the small rail first with English because there's no scratch either. I mean, you just, yeah, what he just did, you have to do that. I mean, yeah, I understand you want to be aggressive. You want to shoot at your hole. You don't want to just be kicking balls away from sure, your opponent's pocket course. all day long. Right. Oh. All right. Now, I think he just left him a cross bank on the two. Or crossover. Oh wow! Look at that, Kevin. Is it in? That Is was it a in? Great shot, man. And he's straight in on, uh, shape on that on strike. The Twelve. Nice. This is for the game. It'll be this first on the board if he gets this two. Nice. All right. Raid on the scoreboard. Trails two to one. Race yes. to three. Yes, yes. Unfortunately, this is going to be Shannon's break, though. Oh, and that's yeah. going to be that's going to be huge. Yeah, break is the break is huge in one pocket. Yep. Shannon's a guy too, where he uh, he could run out in four minutes, you know, something like that, or play it tough. You just never know how it's going to go. It's not his best break, but it's not bad. Yeah, it could be worse. Might be one of those times you got to hit the one ball with bottom left and slide the cue ball down the long rail. We'll see what he likes. You can shoot the 8 5, draw into that 12. Um, yeah. Thin off the three. Get him back over towards that left rail behind the four. Um, he can't see the two, can he? No. No, I don't think so. Can he kick under the two? Kick the two out of there to the bo bottom rail? I'm afraid what he'd do is I think, I'm a think all he could do is kick to make the two. And I don't think that's. Uh, what you don't he think wants. he can like kick and stick to right No, there. I think it's perfect for going rail first to kick it in the pocket. I, I just. But the I cue ball's going to be going up towards the one, and then you probably might sell out to four. Yeah, exactly. Was well, he trying to cut the three? Is he at least looking? Does he like it? Oh, you know what? He may be cutting the three and putting the cue ball on the left hand side of the four ball. Yeah, we'll see. Oh boy. Interesting. Oh, that didn't work. That didn't go according to plan. No, Shannon knows this two-ball shot. You're 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 giving this to him. You think he knows this shot? I, yeah, <laughs> yep, yep, yep. I do. Yeah, what he's going to do with the cue ball is the question now. And there he goes. Now it's answered. You know, try to like draw into the stack to play position on that 11. On that 15 or 11, yeah, I'm not sure what it is, yeah. Uh, I don't know. Uh, you know, the problem with that is he might be hooking himself. Yeah. You know, yeah, I mean, you he may wish he hadn't done that once Yeah, you don't have to get a shot. Yeah. yeah. Uh, but no, he, no, it worked know, he out. felt confident enough that, uh, yeah. Uh, shoot opposite handed. Oh, he looks like me shooting oppo opposite handed. <laughs> right. Wow. Oh, and he just bumped that ball with his stick. That's not a foul, though. That ball didn't hit another ball, and it didn't interfere with the outcome of the shot, right, so it's right, not a foul. Right. Just 
Has the option to put it back or leave it there? Yeah. And I guess he said leave it there. If I was Raheed, I'd probably want to put that, that 12 back. <laughs> All right, we got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, nine, ten, eleven, twelve. So three balls. Is that the answer you come up with also? Three yeah. balls? Yes, yes, yes. All right. Fifteen. Yeah. Oh, wait, no. Let me count again. Let's see. Let's see. 15. Three balls. Okay. Yep. yep. No, I think we're good. Oh, is he back in that? Back? Wow. Nice shot. Oh, that was a great shot. Huh. Now, I kind of like that one ball back into the pocket just because it's a natural hook. Oh, some left hand English. Let the throw take over. Mm -hmm. Is he wondering if the seven caroms off the 14? That's what he's looking at. It's not a bad shot. It does let you control the cue ball. The cue ball's not going wild. No. Uh, hit it too full. Oh, uh, well. Just going to take the, cu the cue ball down by Raid's pocket. Oh, nice. Nice. All right, if he shoots this one rail around the 10, where is the cue ball going? Can he, like, follow cross table, like, underneath that 15 towards the one ball? I would do it with punch and keep the cue ball low, so if it doesn't work out, I'm not selling out the world, but I don't know. Okay. I mean, if the cue ball goes towards the one that, uh, you know, it doesn't sell out anything and it, uh, you know, leaves them hooked from your pocket. Yeah, yeah, well that's true. I uh, could bank the seven back into the ten and just leave the cue ball where it sits. Yeah. No, he wants his ten ball, though. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, it's just, uh, it's risky. And Shannon's on the hill. But we know Raid loves to shoot. Yes, yes. Can't blame a guy for wanting to shoot at his pocket. No, no, especially here. Got to get it done. wonder if Sherry went to go to Starbucks yet. <laughs> I think so. I think so, yes. I think she finally left. Yeah, I believe so. And coffee, I think. Yeah, coffee and uh, grocery shopping. No, he didn't. Uh, he wasn't taking the bait. No. <clears throat> Nice. Oh, look at that. Almost got him in there. Oh, perfect. That English brought him right where he needed to be. Those shots are not as easy as they look. No, <laughs> no. <laughs> try shooting that. You're try shooting that sometime. It's not quite as easy. No, getting it to sit right where you want it is a whole thing. Now, he is he's married in a funny way to it right now. There's just not much to I wonder if he needs to just take a foul. Mm. Oh, 
he may have got away with that. Yeah, I think he did. Although Shannon's probably going to try that 8-9 combo and maybe put the cue ball over. Back under the 7 behind again. Behind the 3, yeah, under the 7, yeah. Just keep putting them under the 7. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. Well, no, he doesn't like 8-9 uh, combo, put the cube under the 7. He doesn't like that, so what else do we have? What other options do um, we have? I think that, well... Bank the 7 out of there, leave the cube ball right where the 7 is. Yeah. Yeah, that's a worthwhile thing to move the 7. Bank to 13, leave the cue ball up table. Oh, well, he didn't want to hit those. Oh, no, he didn't. That three or five or whatever that is, it does go. Yeah. I don't know if Raid's going to shoot at it, but it is an option. Well, he's trying for it, it looks like. Is there somebody behind him now that he's waiting for too? Is there someone oh, behind no, him? No, 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 there's not. Oh, there we go. Yeah, I don't know what uh, I don't know what to do here. This is where I defer to your expertise. Yeah, well, this is where it becomes tough because you're playing Shannon Dalton, and you know, I mean, now that's a good one, but everything's just so sitting far out, so spread out, you know. All right. Just a simple little shot, live to fight another day. Yeah, I like that strategy in one pocket. comes up a lot. Get through your inning. Maybe uh, something better will come along next inning. I think he's just sliding this over to the corner pocket. Oh, no. Oh, oh wow. Wow. I, wow. What a shot. Wow, that was amazing. That was amazing. Well, I think he can. It's kind of a free shot if he if he takes it up there with kind of middle top and just lets it float up there. No, he's shooting the one. Wow, I'd yeah, probably be, one, I'd be yeah. looking at the ten. Oh boy! Nice drift. All right. Just left it tough. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I think he may have to take it out. Oh or yeah. Or, you know. Uh, I think he's got to give it to him. Yeah, I think so too. Oh, oh, he wow. took it out and moved it to his wow, side. Oh, look at that. Cue ball's going to be frozen up on the end rail. Great shot. That's a good outcome. That's a good result.
All right. Good touch. Yeah, that was no foul. Bank the one. Looks like a pretty low risk shot. Yeah, no, I agree. I agree. Just got to avoid accidentally making it in, in that corner pocket over there. Uh, the upper right, you mean? Or yeah, yeah, the <laughs> upper right, yeah. <laughs> yeah. Nice. This is looking pretty good. Oh, that's floating in nice. Oh. oh. Well, good so effort. Probably going to try and combo them both out of there. And wasting no time. Yeah. Nice. Oh. That's what he was hoping for, that a ball would come down and let him bank something. Ooh. Uh-oh. I'm actually surprised that he hit it that poorly. He's been banking them pretty good, actually. All right, what's he need? He needs four. So I would say he's guaranteed just two right now off the bat. Then, uh, you know, the seven and the ten or whatever that is. Yeah, yeah. Oh, that was a nice cue ball. So you're probably going to float down for the one. Yeah. Yep. Boy, he's moving fast. He's liking all this. No, not quite. Well, that is dangerous. You want to make them all. Shannon actually has not been hitting those cross banks very very well this, right. this no, set, I agree. which I'm very I shocked. Agree. So unlike him. Of course I would, but I wasn't expecting him to. Right, no, I agree. Wow. Oh, oh and boy, he's got him hooked, too. Shot. Yeah, that was a oh, good look shot. Look at oh, this. Look at this. Bonus. Bonus points. Now, I'd imagine Shannon just wants to make sure he doesn't foul. And I guess you give up that one ball if you have to give it up. At least those balls aren't spread out down by the poles. Just going to leave uh, a yeah. big stack of balls. No, I thought he was going to bring it back to the left corner to leave him a big stack of balls between, in between. the yeah. cue ball and the one ball. <laughs> He'd probably just as soon he hurries up and makes that one ball so he doesn't have to worry about it anymore. Mm -hmm. Get that sucker in. and <laughs> There you go. Yeah. <laughs> Sounds since like, fine, you have two balls. Come since on, let's that get back to this thing. Since that me. one is all ducked up, exactly. <laughs> as Ryan likes to say. All ducked up. That's funny. <laughs> Oh, don't scratch. Okay, he's not. I don't think he's going to. <laughs> I just kept Yeah, going. right, exactly. No, I do not know. Probably going to bank that seven down by his hole. No. Three reeling... Cue ball. Oh. No, that, yeah. oh, no, and that's for match. This uh -oh. nine ball for the match. Uh oh. Nice. And there you have it. Shannon Dalton defeating Raheed Shabib. Three to one. Great match. Thank you, Kevin. Thank you guys for watching. We'll have more matches coming up uh, soon. So. We'll be back. Thanks for watching. Thank you.